back to Stampy Country. This morning I'm going to show you this bokeh technique, which is hot in photography right now. I don't know if you could see that, but it has to do with lights, and we're going to do it with ink and paper. I have a piece of shimmery white paper, and you want to make sure that it's laying flat. So I'm just going to take a little bit of washi tape and tape it down so that it can't move. The next thing you're going to need are some re-inkers. Choose some colors that are going to go well together. I have about 10 drops of water in each of my containers and then I want to do about 3 drops of re-inker. What you want to do is get your three colors to cover your whole area. So I'm going to take a little of my Coastal Cabana and just begin working that on my cardstock. This is a pretty wet technique, so you don't want to use a super thin piece of cardstock. I'm going to wipe that off on here and pick up some navy. And you just continue working until you have it pretty well covered. This, what I'm using is an aqua painter, so it has water already in it, which makes it really, really handy. And then we're going to pick up some real red. I'm going to go just a little bit less on the real red. That's going to sort of be our accent color. Now, you can see that I don't have it filled in yet, so I'm going to go back. Pick up some more coastal. Begin filling it in until we have it completely filled in. Once you have it all covered, you want to let it dry or you can speed it up and dry it with your heat tool. You can see that's real pretty all by itself, but the next thing I've done is I've taken a window sheet or some acetate and cut various size circles from there, and I use my circle framelits, and then we're going to do, you want to make sure that that's completely dry. I'm going to put some Whisper White re-inker on a block, and I'm going to begin coloring in random circles. We'll get some of that. You can see that there are various sizes. which was intentional. And begin moving it around. You want them to go ahead and layer and overlap. That's what's giving it that light look. There you go, the bokeh technique done with a few re-inkers and a mask. Thanks for stopping by and have a fabulous day.